Hello everyone, good morning and hope everyone is fine. So, <clears throat> we have so far discussed a lot about optical instruments and basically the ray optics and optical instruments. Here we have discussed uh, till now the eye, some uh, diagrams of eye that I have not given in our previous classes. I will try to provide you today. We have done about simple microscope, we have done about compound microscope, we have uh, done about telescope and in telescope we have done about refracting type telescope. Okay? So, a refracting type telescope it has some disadvantages. So, to overcome those disadvantages the refracting type telescope is used. So, what are the what are the problems with the refracting type telescope? So, as you all know, the refracting type telescope, it uses two lenses. One is the objective lens having larger aperture, larger focal lens so that it can cover a, an object very clearly. And the second one is the eyepiece lens having small focal length or small aperture, which is exactly opposite to that of the compound microscope. In compound microscope, the objective lens it has got some small aperture or small focal length whereas the eyepiece it has got some larger aperture or larger focal length okay so what are the problems that is suffered by our lenses okay so the first problem that i have mentioned that is your spherical aberration now and the second one is your chromatic aberration now what do you mean by the term called spherical aberration okay so this can be uh, we can understand with the help of taking a prism okay so let us try to understand with the help of a prism suppose this is the prism here so if a light ray enters the prism if a light ray enters the prism at certain angle then it will deviate like this okay then it will deviate like this and this deviation this deviation depends on what this deviation depends on curvature because if a prism is like this if a prism is like this, the deviation will be the least, okay. So the thing is, the bending of this light, it depends on the curvature. More the curvature, more bending will be there, okay. So what happens in case of a lens? You just try to understand with the help of a lens. If you consider this one, this lens, you can see that the this portion is has some more bending as compared to this portion so the light ray will be deviated more at this position and the light ray will be deviated least at this position so you just try to understand suppose the light rays are coming suppose the light rays are coming like this from infinity the parallel light rays are coming okay so these light rays are coming from infinity Suppose these are parallel light rays, so this light ray it will suffer more bending whereas this uh, light ray it will suffer the least bending. So it will uh, for this one it will pass like this, it will also pass like this, okay. This one this is their point of meeting but if you look at the another one, okay, if you look at this one this one will suffer more bending so this one will look like this this and this okay and the light ray which is at this position it will suffer the highest bending so it will be like this okay so as you already know that the light rays coming from infinity they always uh, meet at the focus but for this object which is located at infinity suppose an object is there which is at infinity now for the object how many focuses are there one two and three we are simply discussing about three pairs of rays but you just consider how many pairs of rays will be there so the focus the image will be in what the image will be a blurred one now the question is why the image will be a blurred one because different different focus will be there so you will not be able to see the object clearly done 
আচ্ছা নাও দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ান ইজ ক্রোমেটিক অ্যাবারেশন নাও দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ান ইজ ক্রোমেটিক অ্যাবারেশন না হোয়াট অ্যাপেন্স ইন ক্রোমেটিক অ্যাবারেশন ওকে নেক্সট প্রবলেম উইথ দ্য লেন্স ইজ দ্যাট ইজ ক্রোমেটিক অ্যাবারেশন দিস ইজ দ্য সেকেন্ড প্রবলেম উইথ দ্য লেন্স সো ইউ কনসিডার দিস লেন্স অ্যাজ ইউ অলরেডি নো দিস ওয়ান ইজ সাপোজ one light now the question is this is a white type of light this is a white light and as you already know if white light passes through some glass then the light ray will be this portion is just like a prism na this portion is just like a prism this one so the light ray will be splitted into its seven constituent colors and as you already know that the the color of the light having the minimum wavelength that is violet suffers the maximum deviation and the color of the light that is red color having the maximum wavelength suffers the least deviation so you can say that this is suppose the red color and this one is suppose say the violet color so how many colors will be there in between violet and red another five colors will be there what is the signal you are, what is the color of the light that is incidenting on the lens only white light but how many colors you are getting in the another side you are getting seven colors and for the seven colors there will be seven focuses okay so your image will be at that time blurred and you will not be able to see the image clearly why because there will be for a single color of light you are getting seven different focuses so the image will not clear so this is the problem you imagine suppose another white light then what will happen the red color it will suffer the least deviation so this one will be the red color and the violet color it will suffer the maximum deviation so this will be for violet and this one will be for red so these are the two focuses for a single color of light that is white light that you transfer that you uh, uh, that is incidenting how many colors you are getting Uh, there will be seven colors you will get means there will be seven different focuses you will get okay so that is the problem with the lens one is your spherical aberration and the second one is your chromatic aberration so in telescope in telescope since we use the uh, lenses so obviously spherical the problem of spherical aberration and the problem of chromatic aberration will be there it means you will not be able to see the object distinctly and what is the pur purpose of the telescope the purpose of the telescope is to, uh, is to see the two nearby object located at a far distance uh, apart distinctly but the if uh, we are not able to meet the purpose then what we have to do we have to design some another telescope so this telescope is the another one that is known as reflecting type telescope as you already know the reflection can be done with the help of a mirror only it means the reflecting type telescope uses mirror instead of lens so in refracting type telescope we uh, used uh, two lenses and here in reflecting type telescope we will use one lens and another one will be mirror so in your exam they will simply ask you that this question that what is the advantages of reflecting type telescope over refracting type telescope first one is this one and second one is draw a reflecting type telescope and your syllabus the uh, telescope given is your cassegrain type telescope in the name of the scientist cassegrain he developed their telescope and no more numericals and no more uh, derivations uh, are there from the telescope so we have to simply draw and we have to simply understand that how spherical chromatic how spherical aberration and chromatic aberration both are rectified with the help of reflecting type telescope that we will discuss okay so i think everyone sabko ye malum chal gaya hai ki uh, what are the spherical aberration and what do you mean by the term called chromatic aberration if possible then try to prepare a note based on spherical aberration and chromatic aberration okay so so the what are the advantages of reflecting type telescope over refracting type telescope so i will write few lines you also try to write the refracting type telescope the refracting 
type telescope suffers the refracting type telescope suffers spherical spherical and chromatic aberration okay suffer refer spherical and chromatic aberrations full stop and what are the result of this problem that the final image will be not distinct it will be a color uh, it will be blurred one so due to this due to these aberrations the final image is the final image of the object is for this uh, spherical aberration your image will be a kind of blurred one and for the chromatic aberration your image will be a colored one and different different colors okay the final image of the object is colored and blurred colored and blurred okay to overcome this problem to overcome this problem to overcome this problem comma the objective this pro, uh, question is actually very very important for your board exam that is why i am writing the answer this problem to overcome this problem the objective lens the objective lens can be replaced by using by using a mirror of by using a mirror of what aperture large aperture of large aperture which is free from and mirror is free from spherical and chromatic aberration so which is free from spherical and chromatic aberration spherical and chromatic aberration such a telescope is called such a telescope is called what is called reflecting type telescope okay and refracting type telescope are of how many types it is of two types it is of two types it is of two types number 1 is cassegrain type telescope and number 2 is the newtonian telescope okay so in your syllabus you have to simply draw the cassegrain type telescope uh, so you simply draw the figure of cassegrain type telescope that is given in your textbook that is page number 342 so draw it it is at page number Three hundred and forty-two. You have to simply draw the Cassegrain type telescope. Okay, simply you draw the Cassegrain type telescope. Bus. That's all. Spherical aberration. If possible, try to write the notes. That is, what is spherical aberration, and try to write also that how it can be removed 
and next one is what is chromatic aberration and how it can be removed if possible otherwise from the diagram it is clear ki what do you mean by spherical aberration and what do you mean by the term called chromatic aberration due to the chromatic aberration we will obtain a colorful image and due to the spherical aberration we will get a blurred image so these are the things based on aberration so now we will again move back to the eye and we will now discuss some uh, diseases of the eye okay we will again go back to the eye and some diseases of the eye okay and how the diseases are can be rectified after that we will do how the rainbow is formed and rainbow are of two types one is the primary rainbow and the next one is secondary rainbow that also we will discuss okay so the i how the i works that is already we have discussed now that is the various diseases of i okay that is also discussed actually various diseases of i okay so what are, what is the first one that you already know that one is your is the myopia so if a person is suffering from myopia it means he can see the nearby object clearly but he cannot see the distant object clearly i will simply now draw the correction diagram that how it can be corrected by using a concave lens so i it is normally spherical in shape okay this one is a spherical in shape the front portion uh, this portion is little bit bulgier that the front transparent portion this is little bit uh, bulgier and this portion is known as what this is known as cornea so behind the cornea we have the eye lens and eye lens is surrounded by the ciliary muscles that you already know so if you place here a concave lens concave lens is used to rectify the problem of myopia so if a person is suffering from myopia the problem is the image should be formed in the uh, on the retina itself but if a person is suffering from myopia then the image is formed in front of the uh, uh, in front of the retina let us try to understand it what happens actually so if you are observing an the, an object which is, is located at infinity or far away then what will happen the light ray will travel it like this and they will simply meet somewhere at this location kya yahan pe retina available hai yahan pe to retina nahi hai so will you be able to see the image no so so this is the problem with the myopic eye this is the problem with the myopic eye okay the image is not formed on the retina now the question is how it can be corrected okay so we will correct it we will correct it by using a what lens by using concave lens okay so this is the eye lens here our purpose is to form this image on the retina so we will use here a concave lens specs mein kaun sa lens use hoga concave lens so whatever the light that will travel from infinity whatever the light that will travel from infinity this is the axis so what will happen this ray is uh, this mirror is uh, sorry this lens is nothing but a diverging lens so it will diverge the light ray so it will diverge the light ray say like this slight diversion slightly and finally it will form the image like this okay it means the final image is now formed on the retina as a result of which we will be able to see the distant object clearly so this is nothing but myopic eye this is called as myopic eye and this one is the correction of myopic eye okay in exam they used to ask about the correction of myopic eye so you simply draw this diagram correction of myopic eye okay the second one second one is the hypermetropia i think you got this diagram in class 10 so so i thought ki i will not draw this diagram 
but uh, few students they ask about this diagram so that is why i am telling with the help of diagram that what happens when a person suffers from myopia so next one is hypermetropia so hypermetropia means a person uh, that can see the distant uh, distant object clearly but cannot see the nearby object clearly okay so if a person is suffering from hypermetropia he has to use the convex lens now first thing is what happens in uh, what happens when a person is suffering from hypermetropia let us try to find it out so this one is the eye again the front portion i am saying that the front portion is little bit bulgier okay and behind this this is nothing but cornea so here we will be having the lens here so if a person is suffering from hypermetropia it means he cannot see the nearby object or if an object is placed at least distance of distinct vision okay this one is suppose say the imaginary axis suppose this is the near point this one is suppose the near point of a person so from the near point the light ray will travel like this this one and you already know that the convex lens is a kind of converging lens so what will happen here the image will form somewhere at this location so when a person suffers from hypermetropia the image is used to form behind the retina okay the image is used to form behind the retina okay so i already told you that on the retina there are some light sensitive cells so when say light will fall on the retina then only the sensors will be activated now the light is falling on a surface behind the retina to mujhe ye batao kya yahan pe jitna bhi sensors hai wo activated hoga nahi agar sensors activated nahi ho raha hai it means yahan se kaise signal jayega to the brain so what is our purpose our purpose is to by using a convex lens we have to brought the image which is form behind the retina to the retina itself so let us try to understand with the help of a diagram ki kaisa hoga ye so let us draw a eye again so this one is the eye front portion again it is little bit bulgier this is the lens here the eye lens eye lens is convex in nature let us draw it this one is the imaginary axis dotted line i will prefer this one okay so the person is suffering from this problem na that is the uh, near point he cannot see the object located at near point what type of lens we will use here we will use here a convex lens so if the object which is at near point so from the near point a light ray will travel from this also a light ray will travel it will move like this it will move like this and finally it will form the image on the retina is that clear now it will bend na this one is a what this one is a converging lens so converging lens bends the light ray so iska thoda sa bending ho gaya fir is lens pe aaya to aur zyada bending ho gaya and finally the image is now formed on the retina so this one is a this one we will call this one as hyper metropic eye this one will will be called as hyper metropic eye and this is known as correction of this one is known as correction of hyper metropic eye okay the next disease that we discuss is the presbyopia so presbyopia is a combination of these two that if a person cannot see the nearby object as well as the distant object clearly then uh, he will be uh, treated as suffering from presbyopia so there you have to use a uh, specs and and the, the specs will be the it will uh, you have to make the spe, you have to make the spe, uh, specs by using two types of lenses one will be concave and another one will be convex so this is simply the combination of myopia and hypermetropia is the presbyopia so another one another disease that is the uh, astigmatism okay how astigmatism is corrected i already told you that astigmatism can be corrected by using by using suitable cylindrical lens astigmatism can be corrected by using suitable cylindrical lens okay so the next one is astigmatism <coughs> number 3 
is astigmatism press biopia we will not draw here so astigmatism first let us draw the eye and try to understand what is the problem so this is the eye here this one is the eye lens so <coughs> astigmatism means from here suppose the object is like this 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 okay from here the light ray will travel and it will form an image on the retina but <coughs> either your image will be like this the image will look like this one okay so this one is the problem with the astigmatic eye so we will call this one as astigmatic <coughs> eye now the question is how astigmatic eye can be uh, corrected so the answer is astigmatic eye can be corrected by using suitable cylindrical lens <coughs> this one is the eye this is the front uh, transparent cornea here this is the eye lens so here we have to use a cylindrical lens okay cylindrical lens from the object the light ray will travel and finally the image will form image will be formed on the retina itself okay so this one is a what type of lens so this is the object like the graph paper so this one is a <coughs> cylindrical lens okay and you will be able to see the object sorry the image just like the object okay so whatever the object you will be able to see if you pass the object through a cylindrical lens okay so this one is the correction of figure this one is the correction of <coughs> correction of astigmatic correction of astigmatic eye okay i am simply drawing these things why because these things are important for your board exam that what is myopia how it can be corrected we we'll draw with the help of a diagram what is uh, press uh, what is hypermetropia what is uh, astigmatism draw with the help of necessary diagram so these things are important so uh, our topic left is your this one that is the micro uh, that one the formation of primary rainbow and the secondary rainbow that also we will discuss kyunki ye already board exam pe aa chuka hai ki how the primary rainbow is formed and how the secondary rainbow is formed difference between primary rainbow and secondary rainbow and why the intensity of secondary rainbow is less than that of primary rainbow so we will discuss these things so these things are uh, little bit theoretical so you write down you try to write down the theory from your textbook itself and also why this problem occurs why this problem occurs why myopia occurs all these things are given in your textbook that is it happens due to only the change in the shape of the eyeball kabhi kabhi eyeball ka shape bada ho jata hai it in that case you will be suffering from myopia ya agar uska diameter chota ho gaya means uska elongation kam ho gaya then it will be or equal to hypermetropia like this and why the astigmatism happens and what is uh, that one cataract okay तो कैटरेक्ट भी मैं बोल देता हूं तो कभी कभी क्या होता है जब एजेड आदमी का वो जो कॉर्निया दैट कॉर्निया इज ए ट्रांसपेरेंट पोर्शन ना तो कॉर्निया ट्रांसपेरेंट होता है तो उसका सामने एक व्हाइट कलर लेयर आ जाता है ठीक है तो अगर व्हाइट कलर लेयर आ गया तो लाइट हाउ द लाइट विल एंटर टू आवर आईज इन दैट केस वी हैव टू कट द कॉर्निया एंड वी हैव टू प्लेस देयर ए न्यू कॉर्निया एंड दैट इज नोन एज योर कैटरेक्ट सर्जरी ओके सो एंड द डिजीज इज नोन एज योर कैटरेक्ट सो कैटरेक्ट ऑकर्स normally at some old age okay so these are the uh, eye and its diseases uh, already we have discussed how the eye works in our previous classes and we have discussed it it very well okay